and we're moving on to uh, high school issues. Madam Chair, I wish to make a motion. Okay. I'd like to motion that this board request a Pinkton High School to remove the 75 restriction for the 10-year contract and the one-year enrollment agreement for the 2014-2015 year. If I get a second, I'll speak to my motion. I'll second that. Um, Can this I is, ask you to read that one more time? I'd from like to the high school remove the 75% From the 10-year contract and the one-year enrollment agreement. Thank you. Um, this is simply the, we, the board making a request. I understand that the Pinkerton negotiations are closed and this board has made a decision and uh, we cannot negotiate or require Pinkerton to do anything. Um, I'm just asking out of the, the short amount of time that we have here to make this assignment, the apprehension about <coughs> who's gonna have to go and all of this and in very short order that I think we should at least ex extend this request to them. They will answer accordingly and we will abide by that answer. Um, and I guess just to go back to the old adage, it don't hurt to ask, um, so I think we should ask. <coughs> I just have a question on your motion. Is your motion just for this year or is for multiple years? What is it? Yes, well, of course, the one on the enrollment agreement would be just for this year because it's only a one year uh, agreement. I did ask that it would be lifted for the 2014 2015 school year. So, I guess my only concern <coughs> is something that one of the the citizens talk about is Mr. McClett. It's about fairness, you know? I mean, I'm all for it. I, I wholeheartedly believe in it. I just don't know if, if giving special preference to one group that another group doesn't get is fair. In other words, if one group's gonna have to 75, then all the groups should have to force them to do it, if you understand my logic. Uh, if we would apply to all, then I'd be all for it, but just to one group, I just I think it's not fair. I think everybody has got to um, experience the same the same uh, rules. Well, I would offer that already the contract is not the same. We all know that the last five years are much more stringent than the first the first five years. So I would offer that. The second is it's just what we're talking about here tonight. Um, and I know it's, it's, I'm feeling the pressure as a parent of an eighth grader. All of a sudden, we've got to decide, um, you know, <coughs> within three weeks here or less, but, you know, what's going to happen. Um, this board hasn't taken up yet the opt-out criteria. We have heard concerns from the public. Are we going to be paying for seats this year that we, that we can't fill? Or will we fill them? How will we fill them? So. I just look at this as um, it would benefit Hooksit. They're under no obligation. Uh, and they very well might come back and say, um, no, and I would take no offense to that. But if they came back and said yes, I would say thank you very much. That's going to make things a little bit easier for us here at the last minute. So um, I, I don't think we have anything to lose in asking. Um, you know, there's no expectation that they would say yes, so uh, that's, that's my motion. Yes, Sean. Um, I just don't want to see this hold up anything else. I mean, if we're doing this in conjunction with other things, um, I'd be for that, but also um, I would request just an amendment to that. Uh, so I'd make a motion to amend that, that, um, that if that if this passes on that Dr. Littlefield that we request Dr. Littlefield to take that direction um, and contact the appropriate person, whether that be directly Mary Anderson or whether that be through Ed Kaplan, whoever he feels uh, would be best directed. I'll second that amendment. I'm not sure I understand the amendment. Well, there was no directions to how we were going to. The motion was to request from Pinkerton, but there was no added who, who or how that was going to get done. And so my amendment is just to have um, Dr. Littlefield facilitate that request. I, I think that's well assumed. Dr. Littlefield is talking about 
I mean, he is the, the executor or the administrator of this situation right now. I, I'd be glad to vote for that. I had no I, no thought that anybody else would be the one to... Well, we just like to be clear to you. Well, then we can vote for this. That's, that's fine. Huh? Any questions? Then, I, I'd like to hear the amendment first, though. To have Dr. Littlefield uh, facilitate the request to measure taxes. Right. Yeah, if, yes, the amendment is... That just passes that we request Dr. Littlefield make that request directly to Pinkerton, whether it is Mary Anderson or whomever is best to respond. It might, it might sound better if you just say, to have Dr. Littlefield facilitate the request. All those in favor of the amendment, please signify by saying aye. 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 Amendment carries five to zero. Madam Chair, I'd like to make another motion. We have a motion on the floor. Oh, okay. Um, is there any discussion on the motion as amended? The, the motion as amended. Is there any discussion? I'm going to make a request if I could. Sometimes when we have a lot of discussion on something, when we go to vote on it, uh, I know it's just me, but I've forgotten what the motion really was. So I'm wondering if, in a matter of practice, after we have a, you know, some discussion on something, if we simply have the clerk reread the motion so that we have a clear answer. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank um, so the original motion was. Uh, that this board requests that Pickerton High School remove the 75 student restriction from the 10 year contract and the one year enrollment agreement for the 2014 2015 school year with the amendment that Dr. Littlefield facilitate that request. <coughs> Can we do that one more time? The motion that uh, motion that this board requests that Pinkerton High School remove the 75 student restriction from the 10 year contract and the one year enrollment agreement for the 2014 2015 